Hello everyone. Well, I'm here today on this channel to tell you about a new book that's coming out in January next year. It's called Elvis, Aloha from Hawaii, Through the Eyes of Japan. And I was in charge of the translation. It's been edited by the Elvis Presley Society of Japan. Anyway, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the book in this video. All the photographs in the book were taken by Mr. Kizaki. He was there for the concerts in November 1972 in Hawaii. He was there for the press conference on the 20th of November. And of course, he was there for the main event on January the 14th, 1973 with his cameras. He had three Nikon cameras and he was switching between two lenses, 300 and 500 mil lenses. Apparently it was quite unusual for anyone but the press to use 500 mil lenses at the time. His photographs quickly appeared in Japanese magazines. They've also appeared in overseas publications, fan club newsletters, and so on. They even appeared on Japan-only LP covers, and they appeared as posters in a series of reissues back in 1973. These are all quite sought after now. Japanese LPs, Japanese records in general, still popular with collectors. Reiko Yukawa was one of the few music journalists to get close to Elvis. She interviewed him on a number of occasions over the years. In November 1972, she organized a trip for 200 fans, Japanese fans, to attend Elvis's concerts in uh, Hawaii. She also attended the press conference on November the 20th, and that was by invitation of Tom Diskin, Tom Parker's right-hand man. Reiko was apparently close to Tom Diskin. And it seems Elvis really wanted to come to Japan. He was heavily into karate, of course, and Japan being the home of karate. And you can read all about Kizaki's experiences photographing the Aloha show and Reiko Yukawa's experience at the press conference in the book. She actually got to ask a couple of questions on behalf of Japan to Elvis at the press conference. Uh, well, we've been on satellite, but as far as a personal appearance, I don't have any definite time. But I would like to come over there. I would like to go to Japan. I love them. <laughs> Another contributor to the book is Shigehiro Ushikubo. He was the producer of the Japanese television broadcast Aloha from Hawaii by Satellite. And he was convinced that the show was going to be a huge success because it combined Elvis at the peak of his popularity with Hawaii, which was a dream destination for Japanese people at the time. While he was in Hawaii in November 1972, he ran into Colonel Tom Parker at the HIC, the concert venue, the Honolulu International Center, and he tried to arrange a meeting with Elvis, but Parker just told him, you know, on your bike. But in the end, he did get to meet Elvis, and you can find out how he did that in the book. In Japan, the Aloha from Hawaii via Satellite album came out just one week after the show was broadcast on TV. How did they manage to release it so quickly? Well, it was down to one woman, Akiko Takahashi. Back in those days, a record company outside America needed a copy of RCA's master tapes. Now, Ms. Takahashi, she was there at the concert. And after the concert ended, she tagged along with RCA's staff to Los Angeles to witness the mixdown of the master tapes. 
and she was the only one there from overseas record companies. So she was the first one to get a copy of the master tape. And you can read all about her adventures in the book. There are many other topics in the book. For example, how did Tom Parker come up with the idea for Elvis's Aloha performance? How difficult was it to produce a live satellite broadcast in 1973? How much money did Japanese TV companies pay for the satellite broadcasting rights? The concert was performed, of course, in aid of the Kiwi Lee Cancer Fund. How did he die? In the 2022 Baz Luhrmann movie Elvis, the Colonel Tom Parker character claims that 1.5 billion people saw the broadcast. How true is that? And after the concert, Elvis sent Japanese fans a present. What did he send them? You can find out the details and a lot more. And don't forget, tons and tons of great photographs in this book. The book is now available for pre-order until November the 20th. Now that was the date of Elvis's press conference in Hawaii, so you've got no excuses for forgetting that date. Anyone ordering and paying by November the 20th will also receive a free gift. This is a really nice gift. It's a set of five postcards with photographs taken by Mr. Kizeki. You can't get that set of postcards anywhere else. Don't delay, order today.